Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Reese here from C Manga and welcome to my review of Ippo Chapter 1022 A Nation's Hope. So you know what? The main event is basically drawing closer and closer and there is still one question on everyone's mind, which is obviously has Ippo gotten weaker? You know, personally, I think yes, he has gotten weaker. Um kind of the way things are now, I think the whole situation is kinda like um you know how in Dragon Ball after the cell fight and uh, the time skip, Gohan gotten weak had um, you know obviously gotten weaker than he actually was it's kind of like that type of thing you know he's basically gotten rusty you know but I think that obviously once he gets into his flow and everything he'll be fine you know um, I mean it's just that no one has seen anything from him obviously since his last since that last training you know before the training session you know the last thing that people is on people's minds is obviously oh yeah Sendo was able to kick his ass in the whole sparring match you know but Obviously, since then he's been training hard, and I mean, if Coach Kamigawa is, doesn't look that worried, you know, he should be fine. Put simply, but yeah. Anyway, um, other than that, there was some good news in this chapter, which is I think that Mashiba has finally kind of like acknowledged Ippo and Kumi's relationship. You know, as much as he doesn't like it, there's obviously like the part where Sendo's obviously ask, asking Atoro, and then Mashiba I think he was about to say that Kumi is basically Ippo's girlfriend, but obviously he cut that sentence completely short because like. Oh god, I don't really want to be thinking about that. And you know how you know how much of it is, man. He doesn't like to think about anything to do with Ippo. He kind of like likes him and hates him. It's like a love hate relationship right there. But anyway, um, yeah, this chapter is basically just kind of like going into whole Ippo's whole journey for everything. You know, Fuji is basically writing an article just about yeah everything that Ippo's done until now. You know, it's not really in depth, in depth, but it's just kind of like the overview. You know, it's talking about. The whole surprise. It starts off obviously from like the whole surprising victory against um, Miata back in back, you know, this pre-debut days, and then obviously he goes on to him getting into the rookies and winning, then getting into the A-class tournament, winning that. He doesn't really talk too much about his defeat to Date, but then he goes on to obviously like you know how, where he is at the moment, how basically all of them have just like outgrown the Pacific region, you know. So you got like Sendo, Mashiba, Miata. They're literally like the last remaining guys from that generation, and they're all literally ready to move on to the world stage you know so I'm kind of thinking that obviously if Ippo does like very well in this battle here in this like match here it'll kind of like inspire the others to move into the world stage a bit more kind of confidently because like, obviously you know Mashiwa he seems like proper confident in that but I think there's still a little bit of doubt in his mind about moving to the world stage because obviously like they're just a hell of a lot more stronger guys out there you know because obviously the Pacific region is just you know, it's them guys, you know, they're all more like kickboxing type guys, you know, boxing takes a backseat to kickboxing, but obviously in the Western world, boxing is up there, you know, look at the Americans, they're dominating. So yeah, obviously if Ippo kind of like does well, it'll kind of like be the driving force to make them advance a bit more confidently. But anyway, um, one thing that has, she has come to mind now from reading this chapter and seeing Mushroom again is, I swear that... Mashiba and Vorg, they're both in the same weight class, right? They're both like junior lightweight. So that means that we could actually see a fight between those two, obviously, for the world belt, which would be freaking awesome. That would be some intense fight because, well, obviously, we've seen a lot of Vorg and we know Mashiba is known as the Grim Reaper. So that will be an amazing fight, which I really actually do want to see. But heck, let's not get ahead of ourselves because obviously we got this fight here between Ippo and Alfredo and then not forgetting we've also got the fight for the Japanese belt between Itagaki and Amai. Um yeah that fight there that is going to be freaking crazy because obviously we've seen what Itagaki can do you know we've been following him for a while now and we know he's like the new speed king but Amai, there's something going on with him which it's kind of like eating away at me a little it's like what is what's going on with him you know what has he got because for ages now everyone keeps saying that oh yeah He's like, you know, trying to become Ippo. So I still think that he might have like done something that will remind that will just come out of nowhere for us, you know? Something that's gonna be like, what the hell? So I'm get I'm thinking that he might have tried to learn a Dempsey role or something, because if he's done that, then that is just craziness. How the hell? So basically I'm thinking he's probably learned something from Ippo, you know, he's learned a couple of Ippo's moves. Something that is like unique to Ippo and then Yeah, there's something crazy because he seems a bit too like I know he's a bit on edge, but he seems really calm about it at the same time. It's like he's just turned into a different person. So I'm wondering what's going on there, and that's going to be really interesting to find out. So yeah, looks like the next few volumes worth of chapters are going to be interesting, and I can't wait for them to hurry up and get translated because 
apparently we are still what 10 chapters behind the Japanese at the moment so hopefully translators you know speed up so we can get some more Ippo so yeah, guys that there is my review of Ippo chapter 1022 really good chapter well it's a decent chapter you know quite a lot of filler and it does just it makes you want more you know like I said cannot wait for the next few chapters second these matches start it is going to be nuts so yeah there you have it guys um you know the usual um if you enjoyed the chapter if you want to say anything just let me know in the comments below um as usual give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, it really does help and don't forget to check out the channel for more content so i'll see you soon